We have a lot of boxes of Funko Pops and other toys to sort through today. Hello, my YouTube friend. I have big plans today. We have a ton of stuff to sort through, and I think we're going to make a lot of progress. Let me show you what we got to do today. Okay, so the last video, we cleared out a bunch of rows of boxes here. So we're actually clearing out some floor space right here. Okay, so main goal is to sort through three columns of boxes right here. That's... Uh, what is it? 24 boxes. I'm hoping about half of them I'm going to pull out to sell in the shop. Half of them I'm going to put in the front here. I have a little space over on this side. I still have space for one column right here. And then I can fit one, two, three, four more. So five columns total. So in those three columns, if I get rid of half of them, that's only a column and a half to bring over there. And then I can start digging on that side. But for today... I want to get through these co three columns right here. Then we'll start thinking about digging into this side. But the reason why I want to get these three columns is because I want to make room for this shelf to turn and put against the wall right here. And I'm going to get rid of all these subscriber boxes, I think. Most of them, at least. Uh, the bottom row has some comics and magazines I can't get rid of. If I get rid of most of those, I can turn the shelf that way. Then I can put comics on the shelf so I can clear up a little bit of this space. Uh, but the main thing is I want to open up what's behind this shelf. Behind the shelf is a whole room full of stuff that I haven't looked at in about 12 years. Uh, when my wife got pregnant, I put away all my retro toys, my Ziggy collection, my designer art vinyl toys. I put everything I had away just so that, you know, I didn't want a baby having access to a whole bunch of collectibles. So I kind of put them away. I'm going to have a whole series on that room once I clear out the Funko Pops. Uh, what I noticed, though, is that I left space up top here. I didn't stack all the way to the ceiling, which means that I might actually be able, if I reconfigure that and reorganize that, I might actually be able to fit another eight boxes or so, the Funko Pop boxes. So that will give me even more room. So I'm hoping by the end of the day, I have these three columns cleared out, and then we'll have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight more columns to go. So I feel like by the time I sort all these and pull out about half the cell, I should be able to find spots for almost everything. If I clear this whole area out, we're going to have such a big area for filming comics. Okay, let's uh, let's start with this column. I have a feeling like the top box there says Harry Potter. Uh, that was a keeper box, I think. No, that was Harry Potter keeper. That might be a second Harry Potter. I know. Let's go through this column, work our way down, and then we'll go through that column. That column. Okay, let's go through this first box. Uh, okay, all the Harry Potter I am keeping, but I think the Fantastic Beast I will get rid of. So Newt's Commander can go. Uh, Ron Weasley's a keeper. The uh, Demo guys can go. Oh, that's a really cool translucent one. Uh, he can go, though. George Weasley is a keeper. I just I really like the Harry Potter ones, and this is a series that people always buy from me. So I know they're going to have long-term value just because people absolutely love them. There's a high demand for them, so it's one of those things where I don't want to try to replace the set later. I'm just going to keep it because I do really like Harry Potter. Uh, that one, uh, you know what? I'm going to keep this one just because she's absolutely gorgeous. I love that one. Uh, Queenie can go. She's cute, though, but she can go. Uh, Gellert can go. Okay, getting rid of a few. So this is good. This isn't as bad as I thought it would be on this box. Uh, Dolores is a keeper. The Dementor is a keeper. That one is cool. Super creepy. Uh, Ginny Weasley in the Quidditch outfit. That's a keeper. Uh, all augury, augury can go. Jack Kowalski can go. Uh, Peter Pettigrew is a keeper. Mad Eye Mooney is a keeper. Uh, Niffler can go. All right, Remus Lupin's a keeper. The uh, Sirius Black's a keeper. Luna Lovegood's definitely a keeper. Uh, Newt's Commander can go. 
I have a lot of Fantastic Beasts for the shop. Niffler can go. You know, the last time I went through the Harry po the other Harry Potter box that I see up there, when I went through those, I had such a uh, hard time going through them. I actually had to stop the series for uh, like a month, <laughs> maybe even longer. So I'm actually happy this one's going pretty good. Uh, the Newt Scamander would pick it. That one's super cool. I love the little double pop in there. That one can go, though. Um, oh, this one I absolutely love. The Luna Lovegood where she has the lion mane on. That one's awesome. We have uh, Dumbledore. That's a keeper. Remus Lupin is a keeper. Uh, Fred Weasley's a keeper. And uh, Lucius Malfoy's a keeper. Okay, not bad. You know, I'm keep keeping a good chunk, but I thought I was going to keep the whole box. But... Let's see. It looks like I got rid of a third. Yeah, I got rid of 11. So that's a third of the box. Okay. You know what? I just realized something as well. Another 10 inch pop that was on top of that stack. That uh, I'm going to keep this one. This one just so cool looking. Really amazing looking Skeletor. I don't think... Uh, I think it would be hard to get again. Because I think he was kind of a harder one to get. He's a Funko Shop exclusive. So that one's a keeper. Okay. I just realized that this stack says keep, keep... And the one above it says keep. I think at least these first three boxes were ones that I did the beginning of last year. So those are I've actually gone through already. So you know what? I can just move those over to the space that I have for extra pops. And uh, I'm going to see if any of these other ones say keep. Because I might be able to clear out these boxes really quick. Which means it'll give me more room to work with. All right. Let's keep digging. Okay. All right. There's one box on top. This one box... I don't know if this is a keeper box or not. Look quickly. Uh, no, I think this is a box that can go for the most part. I'll show you that in one second. Okay. Let me grab this box. Keep. Yep. Uh, do we? Oh yeah. Keepers. I might going through a second time looking through the keep box. I feel like I might be able to pull out one or two more, but uh, I just don't want to do it again at the moment. I want to finish the first round through and then I'll try to go through again and make another choice on a different date. You know, what? I took a quick look and I saw at least one or two that I'm willing to get rid of. So I think I'm going to actually, the keeper boxes, we're going to do one quick look through. Why not? I'm going to show you some cool pops again. <laughs> you might have seen these a year ago, but it's been a year. Why not? Uh, so, yeah, we have amazing Harry Potter ones. Like the Hermione ones. Those two are some of my favorites. Oh, and the Ron Weasley in the Sorting Hat. Those ones are really cool. So, yeah, stuff like that I don't want to get rid of. Or the TIE Fighter Pilot. That's a really rare. Uh, what I did see, though, was Kid Flash. I'm not sure why I kept Kid Flash. So, Kid Flash I can get rid of. All right. Nice. One removed from the keeper pile. Uh, I was thinking maybe I would get rid of Peter Griffin, but I forgot. This is the one that I had an error. His glasses are mini right there, and that's normal size. So actually, I'm going to keep those just because it's a cool error. Uh, what else is in here? Uh, really cool Comic-Con Batman. I do really like that one. Oh, I love the Mad Max ones. I cannot wait for the new Mad Max movie coming out. This looks like the whole Mad Max series. Ooh, we have the... Uh, Dark Knight Rises Catwoman. That's a really cool one. Oh, wow. Okay, there's some really cool stuff in this box. The kind of common DC stuff I've been selling. Uh, Huntress, I really like that one, though. That's a keeper. More of the Mad Max ones. We have the Nux. This one I don't think has a lot of value, but I love Mad Max. We have the Black and White Harley Quinn. That one is super dope. We have the Valkyrie from Mad Max. That one is super cool. We have the... Very Osa. I bet with the new movie coming out, some of these might be going up a little bit. We have the Kang and Kodo set. This is one of my all-time favorite pop sets. That one is freaking amazing. We have the Blood Bag from Mad Max. Man, I love the Mad Max ones a ton. We have uh, Carrie Kelly Robin. So yeah, I'm pretty sure the rest of these are all keepers. Uh, Teen Titans Go, Beast Boy, love that one. That one I think will have a little bit of nostalgia value. Uh, Capable from Mad Max. That one is super fun. Uh, Max Rockstansky? <laughs> Mad Max, I can't read your name very well. 
Uh, ooh, the Domo. Oh, that one's cool. Limited 1,008 pieces. It's a Man of Steel Domo. That one's cool. That's one you just do not see ever. Um, the Teal Batman, that one's amazing. Mad Max, Coma Doof Warrior. Love that one. Uh, the really awesome Catwoman from DC Bombshells. A more, yeah, I'm going through this, and I'm just like, these are pops I love. So this totally makes sense. These are all cute. Oh, Raven, this is one of my first pops. Absolutely love this one. A bit of a grail. I think it, it was over 100. I don't know if the price fell down or not, but I love that one. Uh, Cyborg from the Teen Titans Go. Yeah, definitely. I can tell. This is a box of just stuff that I really enjoy. Oh, and the Chase Joker with Kisses. Oh, that's really cool. Okay, totally makes sense. But I was able to pull out one more to sell, so success. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm actually really happy about that. I thought these were... All right, let's go through the other Keeper boxes and just double check to make sure. All right, this is a box that has marked Harry Potter, so I'm assuming it's still mostly Harry Potter. Yeah, this is the box that made me quit the series for a while because I just, like, I started looking at them and I started debating, uh, do I get rid of them? Do I keep them? And uh, it would just make me a little bit too emotional. I was just like, ah, no, I don't want to get rid of them. And honestly, I, I, if I could afford them and I had the space, I wouldn't get rid of the collection. I think it's a really fun collection to have. And I, um, you know, I kind of wish I could keep them all. But at the same time, they just take up so much space. So I have to make sacrifices to keep the YouTube channels going. If I don't, I can't, you know, I don't have space to make videos. And I want to make videos. That's more important to me than having the collection. Uh, but yeah, just all kinds of awesome Harry Potter ones. Dobby. Juan Weasley. This selection is really cool. Uh, oh, this is the error one where his glasses are squished. I don't know if I have the other one that goes with it. Uh, yeah. So, yeah. If you can see his glasses squished regular size. I love the errors. The errors are some of my favorite Funko Pops. Super fun to collect. Got Ron Weasley in his Quidditch gear. We have uh, Harry Potter with a pre-release sticker, which... Makes him a little bit more valuable. Uh, Harry Potter in his sorting hat. That one is super cool. We got Snape. Original. Printing. Uh, Harry Potter. With his owl. Those are cool. Uh, I have a grail that I need to put away into one of these boxes. Original the Mighty Avenger 4. This one's super dope. This is one of the original pops. It's a number one from the Marvel series. It's 2010 printing. How crazy is that? 2010, that makes him um, 14 years old. So in six years, this will be officially vintage. That's crazy to me to think. Okay, let's see what we got. We got Ginny Weasley. We have Draco Malfoy. We have, oh, this Luna Lovegood with the really funky glasses. I love that one. That's one of my all-time favorite pops. We have uh, Hermione. Okay, let me get these out. We have uh, Lucius Malfoy. That one's super cool. He's kind of creepy and amazing. We have Draco Malfoy. Let's move these over. We have. Uh, Cedric Diggory. We have Draco Malfoy. We have Hermione in the ball gown. We have Ron Weasley. We have Severus Black Chase. That one's cool. We have uh, Harry Potter, box lunch exclusive. We have Ron Weasley. We have uh, original Hermione. We have Minerva. And we have Ron Weasley. I also have a feeling, aren't they doing a TV series of Harry Potter? I feel like with the TV series, there might be more demand for these. So I have a feeling these are going to go up in value as well. So yeah, definitely not rushing to sell my Harry Potter. Okay, let me get another of the Keeper boxes. I decided to grab another box of sort just so I can start pulling more stuff out because I want to see stuff going. Uh, I am um, not sure. I don't know if this is going to be a lot of keepers or not. All right, let's dig in. I'm actually not sure what I wrote inside there. <laughs> 
more like I, it might be Dorbs. It might be oh, it might be some really amazing stuff. This was this feels like a keeper box because I'm seeing grails and like yikes. This is definitely not a for sale box. This is the kind of stuff I really want my collection to end up being like. We had the original count like Grail, Grail box. Uh, this is a whole Grail box here. We have uh, Freddy Funko as the Joker, limited to 3,000 pieces. Grail box! Okay, this pop is a pop that's kind of an example of why I haven't been selling my Grails. I know a lot of people are like, oh, sell your Grails. Um, when I started selling, this one was worth about 100, 150 bucks. And uh, since I started selling my collection, most of the big Grail comic books I've wanted have lost half their value. This one is now worth 400 so this one's almost doubled its value. So I'm not rushing to sell these rare, valuable ones. I still think long-term they will have value just because it's super limited. And uh, it's Dragon Ball Z. There will always be demand for Dragon Ball Z stuff. And this is a rare one. This isn't one you can just easily go out and get. I might even have the Black Eyes one. I forget, but I kind of feel like I might, which is that one's really jumped in value. Okay, really, the Grail Box. Grail Box. We have uh, Tony Montana. This one was selling an instant if I put it out because that one is awesome. Grail box. <laughs> uh, we have the Zombie Conan O'Brien. That one's amazing. Again, a pop of value. Uh, Joffrey Baratheon. I did sell all my Game of Thrones. I don't know why I didn't sell this one. Maybe this one's a rarer one. Uh, all right, I'm going to keep it for now. I really don't want to pull anything out of this box just because there's a reason why I kept it. I'm guessing he's rare. He might not be rare. I don't know. We have uh, Jesse Pinkman. These would sell in a heartbeat, too. People love Breaking Bad. Always asking for Breaking Bad. I'm not selling my Breaking Bad. My son now loves Breaking Bad. And anything he loves, I'm not selling. Because, you know, the future, right? If I'm going to collect a lot of stuff, I got to keep stuff that he wants or he likes. Got to pass down. Like, if I pass down a bunch of vintage comics, he's probably not that excited. But if he gets a bunch of really cool toys from his era... Anti-Venom, that one's really dope. That will be, uh, that'll be stuff he'll be excited to see. Hopefully, maybe not, I don't know. We have Gonzo, that one's amazing. Wow, this is a really fun box. I think it was fun. definitely worth going through this again. We got Original Lino, that one's amazing. Actually, kind of glad I'm going through these instead of just putting them away. We have um, Indiana Jones from the Disney Parks. Love that one. And we have uh, Maya from Borderlands. She looks really cool. I don't think she's worth too much. But I really love the way she looks. Let's see what we got. We have ooh the uh, Comic Con Vegeta. That one's cool. I don't. This one came down because they reissued him in uh, Australia. But he has the original sticker. That one is really cool. We have Doctor Doom. Ooh, the metallic Doctor Doom. Love that one. That one is super awesome. Braille pop. We have. Um, Ooh, this is one of my more expensive ones. We have the Jason Voorhees Comic-Con sticker. That one is quite valuable. We have, uh, you know what? I, You know, I've been selling some of my Harley stuff. I think I'm okay. Okay, we got another one. Success. Uh, let's see. We got um, really awesome My Little Pony Hikari. I'm keeping all my Hikaris. We have uh, this really fun, you know, the three creature pack. I love that one. That one is super dope. We have a spastic plastic dorb set. That's a keeper. I'm keeping all my dorbs for now because I just, honestly, I don't think they will sell. So I might as well just keep them. It's that kind of thing. And we have an uh, Elliot from uh, Peach Dragon. So we have the non translucent one. That one is really cool. I forgot I had that. Oh, and then we have the dorbs uh, deluxe set Rocket Raccoon from San Diego Comic Con. Okay. All right. That's a really fun box, actually. There's a lot of really good stuff in there. Okay, let's get another keeper box. I'm actually having a lot of fun going through these because I've already made the decisions to keep them so I don't feel the stress. That's pretty cool. This is just a fun box of uh, nostalgia stuff. Stuff that I know kids will pay more money for when they grow up. So we have a whole bunch of minions, which are super fun. Love the minion stuff. You know, my son loved the minions when he's little. So I just, I feel these are just very nostalgia ones. Carl's really cool too. I love the more exclusive ones. A uh, bunch of the Little Mermaid stuff. I just really like the Little Mermaid. So those are all keepers. Uh, let's see, we have uh, Kyle from Despicable Me 3. All Natural Minion. 
we have, uh, ooh, the really cool Comic-Con. His foil has faded a little bit. I find that these older foil ones kind of fade with time. So it's just not a very stable paint on those. Very cool limited edition one, though. We have uh, Dave. And we have uh, King Bob. It looks like we have some of the Ratatouille ones, which I know are kind of expensive. We have Emil. We have uh, Ariel. That's the little foily one. We have I Meaty. Fire Alarm Minion. The Purple Carl. I love the purple ones. Those ones are super cool. And way more limited. We have uh, Spy Drew, Ariel, the Glitter version, Fire Alarm Minion, I really like that one. The Purple Dave with the little, you know, paint missing part. Uh, Taurus Jerry. Uh, Ariel, oh, we did that one already. Agnes from Despicable Me Too, she's really cute. We have uh, Alfredo Linguini. That one's cute, too. We have uh, Nerd Ariel. Love the nerd ones. Hula Minion. Yeah, I feel like a lot of these have long-term value potential because they're all just stuff that kids like that they might pay a lot for when they grow up. Uh, Remy. So I like to collect nostalgia stuff for the long term. Ariel is awesome. Ariel is kind of... Towards our older audience, though. Oh, the Chase Remy. I love this one. Flock Pop is amazing. We've got Street Candy Pirates. And, oh, and the limited 1,500 pieces glow-in-the-dark Hula Minion. That one is awesome. I think undervalued, too, for how limited it is. Okay, fun box. All right, this looks like a box of just fun modern toys, I think. Um, okay, we have Hair Dorables. I love collecting stuff like this. Lots of value potential on those kind of things. They're just cute, too. We have um, Yuki Snapstar. I think these I got cheap. It's one of those things where I just grabbed them cheap and I decided to keep them. We have... Oh, I love this one. We have this uh, Diecast Jada Dungeons & Dragons set. This metallic red dragon looks absolutely amazing. Love Dungeons & Dragons, so that's a really cool set. That's one I bought on purpose, not like kind of a lot... Uh, candy locks. I think that's another like blind doll. One of the, I think one of these, I was just a customer trade in. So I kept a lot of this cute stuff. Just, you know, I could sell it for the five, eight dollars. It was worth when it came out, but I like holding on to it just because I know long term it'll have value. Whereas it would just stay in the store for a long time. This is awesome. A Jada Metal G.I. Joe set. Absolutely love that. If I had space, I would buy a lot more modern day G.I. Joe stuff. Uh, what is this? More. Oh, this is uh, Hair Amazing Bella. That looks really cute. Uh, oh, this is super dope. We have a Cobra Commander. Not sure the artist on that work, but again, I think that's David Nakayama on the back. Love that. Uh, Luke Skywalker. You know, I'm not even sure why I'm holding on to these, just because I don't think there's upside value, even though I think this is super dope. I don't think there's an upside value. A lot of this stuff that's aimed towards Star Wars fans, they mass produce and doesn't really gain much value. I think I actually will sell that. Uh, Chewbacca, that's cool too. I don't even know why I kept these. Usually I don't keep modern day Star Wars stuff, even though I love it. Okay, those can go for sale actually. Um, Boba Fett, that's super cool too. He can also go for sale. All right, that's cool. Some Star Wars stuff, that's cool. Whereas, you might think it's silly, but I'm going to keep the uh, Anna doll. She's super cute. And this is the kind of stuff that I tend to do better in the long term. Oh, this is a definite keeper, though. This is super cool. We have a Gigawatt Back to the Future Transformer. So it's the Back to the Future DeLorean that transforms into a robot. That is really, really, really neat. We have a uh, another Anna Frozen doll. She's cute. I think those I paid really cheap for. Uh, this is a really fun little Mandalorian set. This one I am going to keep. Because, again, this is, um, you know, contemporary. This is a toy that was aimed towards kids today as the Mandalorian was on TV. So this is the kind of thing I think in, like, 10, 15 years will have value. Whereas really cool toys like this is aimed towards someone my age. And someone my age, if I'm going to spend a lot of money, I'm going to buy original Boba Fett. You know, if I'm going to spend hundreds of dollars, original Boba Fett, not the modern stuff. So I tend to not collect it. 
Not that I don't like it, it's just that I know it'll be easy for me to get if I ever do want to collect it. Whereas something like this, all the kids will open up and there won't be a lot left in the package. Uh, what's this? We got a Marvel Legend. Ooh, that's super cool. We have a Dazzler Marvel Legend with a Warlock arm. That is cool. Love Dazzler. Huge Dazzler fan. Uh, we have a Captain Marvel doll. Don't know if there's going to be much value in this because, you know, Captain Marvel hasn't been a character that's really caught on. But I like it. I think it's really cute. Okay, we looked at that. And what's the last thing here? Oh, we have a Candy Locks doll. So that I'm just putting away. That's like these dolls in this box, I think were just ones I got cheap. Weren't really ones I was going on my way to invest in. But I do like to keep stuff like that because I think it's super cute. This I just bought because I absolutely love it. I don't think there'll be much upside value potential on that either. But I love it. <laughs> some stuff you got to collect because it has value potential. And some stuff you collect because you just absolutely love it. Both ways are logical ways to collect. Either you think it's going to have value or just something you absolutely love owning. All right, let me put this box away and get another box. All right, this box says Toy Story, I think... If it's original ones that are kind of rare, I'll keep those. But if they're ones that came out in the second or third wave of releases, I think those I can get rid of. All right, let's dig through this box. Hoping I get another full box worth of stuff to sell. Uh, okay. Is this going to be hard or easy? I don't know. I love Toy Story. Uh, Amazon exclusive? Yeah, that one I can sell. Okay. This actually probably will be easier than I think. Yeah, I can sell that one. Um... Toy Story uh, Army Man, though. I think I'm going to keep that one just because I absolutely love it. Um, Buzz. Yeah, I can get rid of that one. Although, is this a paint job variant? Uh, yeah, one's pink and one is kind of yellow. So that's a paint job variant. Uh, three years apart. So this is the first print. This one came out three years later. Uh, Jessie. Yeah, I can get rid of her. Another one, the Army Man, but the uh, metallic one, that's a keeper for sure. Uh, Woody with RC. I do really, really, really like the cars, but I think I can sell that one. Uh, okay, this is pretty good, actually. Slinky Dog. Yeah, that can go. I think this is going to be one of the... Oh, Flock Ducky. I'm going to keep that one. <laughs> I, um, I still think this is going to be a really successful box. I'm going to get rid of most of it. Uh, later, yeah, 2018 Woody, I can get rid of that one. Uh, Bullseye, I can get rid of. Toy Story Alien, I'm gonna keep. Love Toy Story Alien. Um, Bonnie can go. Bo Peep can go. And these will sell pretty well for me. I usually sell Toy Story pretty well. A uh, Surf Woody with Forky can go. Combat Girl Jr. can go. Uh, Buzz Lightyear can go. Okay, sweet. Regular Ducky can go. Gabby Gabby can go. Mrs. Nesbitt can go. All right, this box feels very successful. Uh, Black and White Woody. Yeah, I think I can let go of him. Again, like anything, if any of these end up being super expensive, then I, uh, I might keep them, but... I have a feeling most of these are $10, $15 at most. Uh, Buzz Lightyear can go. Okay. Wow, this feels like a really good successful box for clearing stuff out. Okay, we got Forky. I do love Forky, but Forky can go. Duke. What is it? Duke Kaboom. He can go. Uh, the other Gabby Gabby can go. And uh, oh, one more. Yeah, Wheezy can go. All right, none of these are the rare original ones. Sweet. How much is that? Okay, so only four keepers in that box. That was a highly successful box. All right, let's get another. Okay, Dragon Ball Z. I've actually cleared out a lot of my collection. I'm only keeping the really rare ones. Uh, Voltron, I'm keeping horror. It depends. Stay Puft keeping PBS. Probably going DC Comics. Probably going. Okay, this should be a 50-50 box, I think. Hopefully this one's at least 50-50. A little bit more would be good. Uh, oh, no, it's bigger stuff. Okay. Uh, yeah. Gohan training outfit can go. These will sell pretty well, though. Uh, original Vegeta can go. And, uh, oh, wait. These are two versions of him? Box variants. 
Uh, you know what? Even though they're variants, I will let those go. Those ones can go. Uh, Purunga. I do love these ones. I'm going to keep that one just because I really like the way, like, creatures and monsters in that size look. Not really trying to collect... Oh, Stay Puffed. Love the Stay Puffed ones. That's a keeper. Uh, Voltrons are definite keepers for me because I absolutely love Voltron. Keeper. Okay, not a 50% box. <laughs> Keeping too much. Uh, Metallic Voltron. Amazon exclusive. That one's super dope. Uh, okay, hopefully this bottom row. Uh, Pedro sign. That one can go. Uh, I do really like this one as a double pop, but that one can go. Flash can go. It's a little bit of a rarer one. Uh, Yamcha and Purr can go. Do really like that one, though. Um, Ash from Ash vs. the Evil Dead. I think I'm keeping that one. I think that one's a little bit rarer and more expensive. Uh, Goku Black can go. Badman Vegeta can go. Uh, Supergirl bombshell version. That's a keeper. Sucker for Supergirl stuff. Uh, Cajun Church from Pet Cemetery. That's a keeper. That one's really cool. Stephen King horror ones are great. Uh, Mr. Rogers. I do like this one, but that one can go. Oh, Nosferatu is a definite keeper. A little bit of a grail or semi grail. Okay, let me put these down. I do love the double pops, but you know what? I will sell them because I know I can replace them later on if I must. As in replace for an affordable price. Okay, let's see what we got. A couple more Dragon Ball Z. We have Vidal can go. Um, Android 17 can go. Uh, series a keeper for me from The Witcher. And a uh, original Vegeta. I guess I have three versions of him. That can go. Okay, so that was 13 pops. Almost half a box. I'm actually not disappointed in that. You know, looking at these, their packaging looks so much like their original figures. It probably just hit me in the nostalgia feels. That's why I kept them. I kind of feel like that's why, but I'm willing to part with these because I just, if I ever want this full set, I'm pretty sure I can pick them up for affordable prices. So that can go. Okay, Hanna-Barbera, Warcraft, Phantom. I might be able to get rid of a lot of these. Unless it's something I, like really rare and valuable or something I really love. All right. I have high hopes for this box. All right, let's see what we got. Uh, maybe. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure I can get rid of the Warcraft ones. I don't think any of those really have much value. King Lean. So I'm happy to let those go. Lothar. Um, but No. El Caban can go. This one I want to keep, though. I love this one. The Lil Gruesome. That's a keeper. Love the Wacky Races ones. Okay, let's do that. Uh, Scooby-Doo. I think I'm keeping all these, too. Yeah, Scooby-Doo's a keeper. Uh, let's see. Quick Draw McGraw can go. Wally Gator can go. I, You know, I have to double-check value. If any of these are super valuable, I will keep them. Uh, Space Ghost can go. This one is signed by, I think, the voice actor. Adam Ant can go. Uh, Toy Tokyo Space Ghost can go. Regular Space Ghost. I have to double check because some of these might have higher value. But again, if it's under like 20, 30 bucks, I'm definitely going to sell them. Uh, Garona can go. All right, Little Gruesome, the limited to 500 pieces green version. That one's super dope. That's a keeper. We have a uh, Squiggly Dilly can go. Uh, Ricochet Rabbit. Uh, a little bit older one. That one can go, though. I can get rid of that one. Uh, Dorotan can go. Oh, this is the great, great bape. This one's a keeper. I love this one. I am such a sucker for the six inch pops. Especially if it's like a creature. That one's awesome. I love that one. Uh, this one I'm going to keep too. We have the Fooey Mobile with Hong Kong Fooey. Uh, limited to 3,000 pieces. That's a keeper. 
And then one more. I think if this is what I think it is, it's probably a keeper. This is... Oh, no. The, uh, Yogi Bear? Yogi Bear 3-pack. Uh... I thought it was the Tom and Jerry set. I think I'm going to keep this set, though. I think this set is kind of expensive. Mm -hmm. We have uh, Ranger Smith, limited to 5,000 pieces. We got Boo Boo, limited to 5,000 pieces. And we have Yogi Bear, limited to 5,000 pieces. Those are all keepers. I like keeping the rare limited ones because those will be harder to replace. Especially brand new in its original box like this. Yeah, that's not going to be an easy one to get again. Okay, I got rid of 14 pops in that box. So that's almost half. Pretty successful if you ask me. Okay, this box says Star Wars and Moana. Star Wars can go if it's not the original older ones that are kind of rare. Uh, Moana is a keeper for me though. So this box might end up being a lot to go or a little go, depending on how much Moana is in it. Uh, yeah, it looks like a lot of Star Wars. So I have a feeling a lot of these can go. Okay, we have uh, Yoda. I love that one, but that one can go. Tobias Beckett can go. Uh, Varmic can go. Uh, this looks like a keeper. Yeah, Admiral Akbar. That's a keeper. Rare original one. Uh, Watto. I have to double check. If he is expensive, he's a keeper, but if he's only like 20 bucks, I'll sell. Uh, Rio Durant can go. Val can go. All right, this looks like it's going to restock my Star Wars shelf. Uh, L3, I do like droids, but I think I can let go of that one. Uh, DJ can go. Darth Maul, 2019, that's a keeper. Okay. Young Moana is a keeper. Uh, Tika is a keeper. Let's see which one this is. Uh, Galactic Yoda. Ah. Uh, I think that's cheap enough. I can let that one go. Uh, Dryden Gangster can go. Finn can go. Boba Fett. I think that one can go. Again, I'm going to double check prices, though. I don't want to sell them if they are expensive. Uh, Anakin Skywalker, that's a keeper. That one's pretty expensive, I think. Uh, Han Solo can go. Saw Guerrero, even though I love Saw Guerrero. That's can go. Uh, Tomato? Ta -ta -ta Tomatoa? I forget how you say it, but this one's absolutely lovely. That's a keeper. Okay. Um, Rose can go. Ahsoka, that's a keeper. All the uh, Star Wars Rebels ones are cute. Oh, wait, is the Yoda a rebel? Oh, yeah. I just realized this Yoda is from this set. So, I'm actually... I'm going to keep that one. I was thinking it was just one of the cheaper Yodas. But I don't know if it's expensive, but I want to keep it just because uh, it's a cool set. Pumbaa 2015. That's a keeper. Uh, Luke Skywalker can go. Forlom. Uh, I really like that one. That one's a keeper. Star Wars is kind of hard because I do really, really love Star Wars. Uh, Wicket. Yeah, I think that one can go. Um, Tafiti, that's a keeper. Moana's a keeper. Chewbacca from the Han Solo movie can go. And um, Qui-Gon Jinn is a keeper. That one's awesome. Okay, I'm getting rid of more than half the box. That was a successful box. I think this is just a fun box of toys. All right, let's see what we got. Uh... I don't think I want to dig in here too hard, but it looks like I have a couple of fun statues. It looks like Dark Phoenix and Ironheart. Uh, you know what? The Pez I can get rid of. I really don't like the Pez at all. Uh, super cool Catwoman car. Um, I love the Hikari. These I don't think I'll get rid of for a very long time. Uh, some Dorbs. And, oh. This is my first. This is from my son's like first or second Christmas. I ended up buying a second set of Yo Gabba Gabba cars, and that's kind of when I started keeping extra stuff for him. A uh, little uh, Ariel figure, oh, a Ninjago figure, oh, a Sally statue. That's kind of cool. Uh, okay, I um, I'm not gonna show you everything in this box. It's not super fun, 
but still cool to go through. All right, let's find another box. Okay, this box is rides, double sets, uh, Ancient Magnus Bride. Oh, that's an anime one. Okay, this one either is going to be really easy or really hard. <laughs> Flip a coin. Okay, let's see what we got. Uh, hmm. All right, Twin Peaks, I think I can let this set go. Really fun set, but I'm pretty sure I can let that one go. Uh, the Ancient Magus. I think I'm going to keep that one because they're just really cool looking. Uh, all right, Dorbs I'm keeping. Mostly not because, uh, I mean, I like the Dorbs. I don't love the Dorbs, but I also don't think I would sell them very well. So I'm just going to hold on to them for now. No rush to sell something that no one wants. Uh, really cool Superman Batman set. That I can sell. All right, we got some Dorbs rides, which I actually really do love the Dorbs rides. So the uh, Ghost Rider motorcycle, that's a keep. Uh, Blackbird Jet, that's a uh, keep. The Double Dorb set, that's a keep. Uh, this one's just fun looking. We have the Marin with SS Ernan. Not sure what that is, but I um I love the ride. I'm gonna keep that one. Just because I think it's kind of neat. And oh, and we have one of the Jimmy Chunga trucks, just the regular one. That's a keeper. Uh you know what though? I think this set I will sell. I think this set, I don't know the current price, uh, but as peak, I think it's only 50, maybe a hundred. I think I'm willing to part with that. Okay, that box kind of a failure, but that's okay. I really like the stuff that's in it. Okay, so I filled up that row to the ceiling now. So one row of eight boxes, plus I put the 10 inches up there. So we're successful moving one row, but you know what that means? We have wall, folks. We have wall. 